I am Anil Kumar and now let us learn how can we get information from velocity time graph and translate it into a distance time graph. The question here is sketch possible distance time graph from the given velocity time graph. So we have a velocity time graph here where time is in seconds and velocity is in meters per second. Now we need to develop or we need to sketch a distance time graph from the given graph. So we we'll make distance time graph. Now we'll keep the same scale for the time which is given in seconds, so time in seconds. So every unit is 1. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, right? So we have time in seconds, independent variable, along the x-axis. Now, along the y-axis, we'll have distance, and the unit, of course, will be in meters. Now, before selecting the scale, let us do some calculations. It's kind of critical. Now, how is velocity, time, and distance related? You know, distance is velocity times time, right? So it's a product of velocity and time. Now, in a graph like this, if we are trying to translate distance from a graph, let's look into the first leg, which is a body starts from the initial position and the velocity increases at a constant rate. It becomes 10 meters per second in five seconds. So how much distance is covered in first five seconds? We cannot multiply 10 by five since the velocity is between zero and 10. What we can do is we can find average velocity, correct? So the average velocity during the first five seconds is 0 plus 10 divided by 2, right? 0 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Now, average velocity, we are saying average velocity equals to 5, and that is for 5 seconds. So we can multiply 5 and 5 and get the distance. That gives us 25 as our distance, right? That is one way of doing it, and that's probably the best way of doing it. But from a graph, we can do it in a different way. See how we get distance of 5 times 5, 25, using area of the triangle. If I find the area of this triangle, then what do I get? So we have height of 10, base of 5, 10 times 5 is 50, and half of that is indeed 25. It is 25, correct? So the distance is 25. And that is the way you can actually get distance from velocity versus time graph, right? So we get distance of 25 to start with. Now we can select a scale. So we have distance of about 25. So we will say that let this be 100 because that is more distance, right? So instead of 10, we'll have 100. We'll change units to 20. 40, 60, 80. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll make it 100 meters, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 200 meters. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 300. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 400. Okay. So that is our scale on the y-axis. And we have seen that in the first five seconds. The distance covered is 25. 25 is quarter of this, right? 10, 20, and 5, which is 25. So 10, 20, rather I should say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 25 will be right there, right? Close to 20. So this is 30 actually. So let me use that orange color. So 25 is kind of here, right? So we can draw this line here and say that is the distance covered in the first five seconds. Okay, 25. So we'll write 25 here to be precise. Okay, so yeah, so basically, this, so that is half is 50 and 50 half is 25. So, so kind of, do you get, so it is almost correct. Okay, 
Now in the next 5 seconds, what do you think is the distance covered? Hmm. So if we go with this area thing, I think it is easier. So we'll find the area of this unit, right? So here, you can always find the average velocity multiplied by the time. That will also work, right? 15 times 5. The other way is finding the area. So we'll find here two areas. One is the area of this triangle. And then add that area to the area of rectangle. Okay, so that is the strategy. Now, area of the rectangle here is 100. Because we know this side is 10. 10 times 5, 50. 10 times 5 is 50. So that is the area of this, let me draw a dotted line. And then triangle will be half of base times height. Now height is from 10 to 30, that means 20. Half of 20 is 10. 10 times 5 is again 50. So 50 plus 50 is 100. So from this point, we cover a distance of 100 units. Right. So at the end of 10 seconds, we are placed at 125, right? 125, correct? So at the end of this, we are at 125. So that is the point for us. We'll join this. So this point is at 125. So I hope you understand and appreciate how we are translating distance from how we are translating velocity to distance, right? And then we have a constant velocity of 30 for 5 seconds and that gives you 30 times 5, the area of rectangle, right? So this area of rectangle will be 30 times 5, which is 150, right? So I have to add 150 to the existing position, right? So sometimes we use the word position and displacement. However, they are very different. You will soon realize the difference. So this part is we are moving at a velocity of 30 meters per second for 5 seconds so that will add 150. So if I add 150 to 125 I get 275 correct. So we land at 275 let me write 275 as the next phase. This is at 15 right. Okay so 200 so we are going here the graph is very light, 275 is 25 less than 300, right? So 20 and 5. So that should be approximately 275, right? Now we come to a phase where the velocity is decreasing. Now when the velocity decreases, what happens to distance? Will it become negative or positive? Well, remember, distance is a scalar quantity. Distance will always increase, right? You travel in any direction, you travel more whenever you're traveling, right? It cannot be deducted. Now, anyway, so let's find the area here and then figure out how much is this distance. Now, in this case, we have two combinations, rectangle plus a triangle. The rectangle area is 5 units and 20. 5 times 20 is 100. And this triangle is half of base times height. Height is 10, half is 5, 5 times 5 is 25. So since it is distance, we'll add it. So we'll add 125 more to 275. So if I add 125, 25 makes it 300 and 100 makes it 400. So there we are. At 400, when we're talking about a time, which is 20, right? So at 20, which is kind of here. Let me just join this, right? So distance will be 400. So that point seems to be, okay. Assume this is at 15. So this will be 400. There it goes. Do you see that? So this point is at 400. 400 meters in 20 seconds, right? So that is how you get distance time graph. Now from this graph, can you figure out what is the average velocity for first 20 seconds? Well, that's a question for you. And I hope you've learned how to sketch distance time graph from velocity time graph. We have related videos on 
sketching acceleration time graph and displacement time graph from the same velocity time graph. I'll appreciate if you could watch them also. Thank you and all the best.